You may have your fallout for the Republican candidate for governor in North Carolina. Several top staffers in Mark Robinson's campaign quitting after CNN report claims he made racist and inflammatory comments on a porn site, including calling himself a black Nazi and expressing support for reinstating slavery. ABC News has not independently confirmed the report. Robinson denies making the comments. Oh, what a crowd this is. That's Former President Trump in North Carolina this weekend not mentioning Robinson by name. Trump previously endorsed Robinson, describing him as Martin Luther King on steroids. Trump calling into rallies in Virginia and Minnesota, where early in-person voting has started. Our country's in big trouble, and you can do it by mail or early in person or on election day. But make sure your ballot counts and check it. A new NBC News poll finds Vice President Kamala Harris now leading Trump by five points among voters nationwide, 49 to 44 percent. A poll by CBS News finds Harris leading 52 to 48 and leading in four of the seven battleground states. The Harris campaign says it raised a record $27 million yesterday at a single fundraising event in New York. Harris, facing criticism for lacking specifics on policy, says she will deliver a speech on the economy this week. Harris calling out Trump to debate her again. Put me on the debate stage. Let's have another debate. There's more to talk about, and the voters of America deserve uh, to hear the conversations that I think we should be having on substance, on issues, on policies. Trump saying no. It's too late because early voting has already started in some states. There are new endorsements for both candidates. More than 700 former military and national security officials say they'll support Harris. And the mayor of a city outside Detroit with a large Arab-American community has endorsed Trump. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.